Beit al Tatunji is a typical example of a central courtyard house. It's actually a fairly nondescript building, but once you enter it, it's really full of wonders. There's uh, various porticos and porches that overlook the courtyard, and there's a semi-subterranean serdab or cellar where the family could escape the Iraq heat in the summertime. So it's really a, a fantastic site, something really kind of out, of out of the Arabian Nights, if you will. كنا متفاجئين جدا بحجم الدمار الكبير اللي اصاب المباني التراثيه وخصوصا المباني اللي عملنا بها بجهد كبير لكن اولا هذا تاريخ مدينتنا ولادتنا وكل تاريخ ابائنا واجدادنا متعلق في هذه المباني وبهذه الازقه الضيقه في مدينه الموصل القديمه نحن مكلفين رسميا بالاضافه الى الدافع الداخلي لكل موظف في الهيئه العامه للثروه والتراث انه يعمل بكل اخلاص في اتجاه اعاده تاريخ بلده القطع هذه يعود تاريخها الى اكثر من 200 سنه مثلا هاي القطعه باشرت بها القطع الجزء المتضرر وتعويضه بقطع جديد واستعملت خط الزيجزاج لاين ونقلت الرسومات من الاورجينال الى القطعه الحقيقيه وبدات انقشها طريقه الازميد بالطريقه اليدويه التقليديه الماده اللي استعملها هي مادة الرخام الموصلية تماما كما مستعملة بالحقيقة. The University of Pennsylvania with the Engineering Bureau of the Mosul University and the Nineveh Department of the Iraqi State Board of Antiquities and Heritage. solid international, local university and local authority partnership is a very convincing and very solid partnership for us. They've already been working on this before the fighting in Mosul started around 2013. So they have all the experience, they have the know-how and the local knowledge. The Olive Foundation provides heritage experts with the means to go out and do their jobs quickly and in a very focused way to address the needs of local stakeholders. And they also emphasize capacity building and training during those projects. That is really critical so that we implement projects that have sustainable solutions. We want to bring best practices in conservation science to achieve those goals, we employ local artisans and craftspeople who are skilled with these traditional methods for stone carving, plaster work, and construction. Conducting these construction projects, these restoration efforts, we're also ensuring that a lot of these skills are not lost. صراحة لأن البي يعني إحنا قدر الإمكان نريد نحيي هاي المهنة فجبت الشباب وبديت التدريب مالهم والآن هم الحمد لله يعني تعلموا على العمل وبدوا يعني الاحترافية بالعمل يعني إحنا بصراحة البيت تراثي وحتى نحافظ على التراث لازم إحنا نعلم هاي الأجيال لأنه هاي الأجيال راح تكبر وراح يظل هذا الموروث الحضاري والفكري تتناقلوا هاي الأجيال مالتنا. We're not restoring it just because it has this historical and cultural significance as an example of a particular architectural style. 
the loss of the Tatunji house would probably result in the loss of neighboring structures and before you know it, you might have a, a new mall or a parking lot built at the site because of the way development works in the world. Um, so it's about preserving a neighborhood, it's about preserving a community. Mm -hmm.